Here's a funny thing, it's a miniature mirage toy, I call it. When I bring up the camera, you'll see the creature that's already fixed inside. It's actually a Pokemon, it says it on it there. And I'll bring it into, into view. When you tilt your angle of viewing, he appears there on reflection. The right way up and enlarged, and with this, oh look, looking quite dangerous to Pokemon. What's odd about this particular version though is it's got a, a point at the, top, at the top which is supposed to rotate it. So you're supposed to put it on a table and rotate like that for some reason or other. I can't get much else from the picture though, but the idea is anyway, the kid has two bits of fun. They can spin it and they can enjoy the mirage effect of seeing the real thing under the bottom and a marvellous picture reproduction as it were, coming almost above the surface. If you look at it from certain angles, this lifts up and appears to be above the surface, which is brilliant. So, a nice piece of work, that. Here's a strange thing. It's a prankster, but it doesn't quite work for me because it's one of a dog barking. This is one of these joke things you put in the, de the guest bedroom. And when they go to turn out the light to have a night's sleep, something happens, like the tap drips or uh, a mosquito um, makes a funny noise. Well, this one here has got a dog barking, which is bizarre. I've got to turn it, oh, I've turned it on already. There's the, off, there's the on switch there. So I'll put my hand over it as if this is the night time and make it dark. Not, not very convincing. As soon as you turn on the light, it shuts up. That's fair enough, but it should leave a little bit of a gap, say nine or ten seconds. There should be a pause. Well, it's got four paws, I know, but it should have paused for the time the light switches out and the dog starts misbehaving or making a noise. Instead, it starts immediately, which is a shame. There's something wrong with the delay mechanism. So, but the idea is a very nice one to fool your guests into thinking they've got intruders in the bedroom. Here's something else very strange. You're probably very familiar with this stuff, bobble plastic, and when it first came out, and I had great fun going snap, snap, snap. I had to give it to some of my nephews and nieces when they were kids, just to go pop, 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 pop. In fact, they put it one on a birthday card once. But here's electronic versions of them, two of them, one from Japan and one from the West. Extraordinary idea. And they've got batteries inside and they've got little microphones inside, little, little loudspeakers rather. So here's the first one. This is a Japanese one. When you push these like that, just push and push and push and put it near the microphone and it makes a... And not really push, click, get my fingers underneath, click, 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 click. Phew, you've got to work hard, haven't you? That's better. It's clicking nicely. But most of the sound there is coming from the loudspeaker, would you believe? Extraordinary. It's almost everlasting. Well, not quite. You've got to change the batteries eventually when you've done a few thousand. Well, this one here, which had slightly more fulsome instructions on it, and they were in English, so at least I could read them. It sort of makes a funny noise sometimes to start with. No, it hasn't, but it's already done that. And it goes click, 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 click. And according to the blurb, you're supposed to do that 200 times. And then it makes a wee ha noise or something. I'd never reach that stage, would you? <laughs> so click, click, click. You can't do the same piece twice with this one. You've got to keep moving to a new version. And it's to entertain your fingers something exercise to do with the fingers, your know, thumbs and thumbs, just to um, keep you interested and keep the muscles going. Very strange idea. Oh well. The last item is my favourite by a long way. This is one of the best items from this 2009 second best case. It's a, a very fine litter frame which looks so unpretentious. It's just a bit of plastic. It's a bit of plastic like that. And there we'll get it into focus and see the girl herself. It's not a bad picture, but it's just a little bit rough around the edges, to say the least. And the back is an appalling. You can hardly make her out at all. It's like a ghost image. But when you light it from the back, oh my goodness me, suddenly it works. I've got a good torch here. I'll shine it straight in and we'll see if we can get it to perform. Isn't that amazing? It's got all the grey scales down to the finest detail to make a very, very convincing face of a, a very pretty lady. My goodness me. And then take that off and all oh, that's all you get. Suddenly it appears. So that's a brilliant piece. And it looks so unpretentious. Just a little bit of old boring plastic. But hold it up to sunlight, whatever the light source is, and you will have a real moment of... of uh, of sudden surprise when you find just what an extraordinary well depicted picture it is of, of, of the person's face. So that's my favourite for that case, I think, by a long way. <laughs>